What's going on, peeps? My name is Simon, and you're watching Soundwave TV, transforming your video experience. Okay, this week marks the 70th anniversary of the premiere of the Tasmanian Devil, better known as Taz, in the Looney Tunes cartoon lineup. Now, I didn't know uh, Taz had been around for uh, 70 years, and surprisingly, Taz has garnered a, a great amount of popularity amongst the Looney Tunes characters, but he only had five shorts. He only had five appearances during that classic era. And, you know, compared to, say, Speedy or Foghorn or Sylvester or even a Roadrunner and Coyote, you know, other uh, support characters in the Looney Tunes lineup, that's a very short amount. Like, you know, compare thinking like Michigan J Frog got maybe like one short. So you know, even the um I think even the goofy gophers, you know, um they have more appearances. But again, Taz definitely rose in the popularity going into the nineties, you know, you started seeing a lot of the um, you know, with Space Jam and a lot of the um uh, the merchandise starts coming out from uh from WB and it was always cool. I like. I remember seeing the Tasmanian Devil, and I was just like, whenever I come from my aunt's house, I would just spin around in the circles. I love watching them turn into like a little tornado, and the parents are probably wondering, like, why is my child acting like a weirdo? But it's just trying to just solve that. It was always funny seeing them spin around and see all the animals be uh, afraid of Taz. But um, I think here, uh, I think. A lot of people probably best know Taz. Probably the shine gets is from Tasmania. You know, it ran on Fox Kids. And no surprise they even was able to get a whole series of, you know, made up of like 30 minute episodes, you know, shorts and sketches. Considering all Taz does is, all Taz is known for is uh, spinning around and, you know, grunts and growls. But it was able to get a lot of um, good support characters. You know, we found out, you know, he's an older brother. You know, um, you know his parents are kind of like the old school sitcom family. So, yeah, it was cool. I liked all the support characters in uh, Tasmania. And I'm trying to think here. You know, we see a version of... Um, Taz, a futuristic version of Taz, you know, in Lunatics Unleashed, you know, you got a, a slam Tasmanian, which turns into like a huge hyper purple tornado vortex. So, in any case, just thought it was uh, interesting that we've had uh, 70 years of the Tasmanian Devils. They don't look a day over 45, right? Okay, but in any case, what is your favorite Taz? episode from Tasmania what is your favorite classic era Taz short and do you have any Tasmanian devil merchandise or stuffed animals in your collection put it in the comments down below hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to find out about future videos until next time this is Soundwave signing off peace